In CliffX version 2.3.1, I added a new function that makes it very easy to trigger CliffX actions from Macs for Live devices, and this opens the door to some very interesting possibilities. This benefits CliffX because it allows you to use Macs for Live objects, such as menus, sliders, and buttons, to interact with CliffX. And of course, these objects can be key and MIDI mapped, as well as automated, so this allows for all sorts of interesting ways of triggering CliffX actions. This benefits Max for Live because CliffX provides an easier means of doing a variety of things within Live's API. Also, CliffX has access to certain parts of the API that Max for Live doesn't, for example, Live's browser. Accessing CliffX from Max for Live is very simple. You just set up a path to the CliffX control surface and then call a function on it. The name of the function is handle m4l trigger and it takes one argument, and that's either the action or list of actions you want to perform. In this example, I'm using Metro, which will toggle the state of the metronome. I've made a MIDI and key mappable device named m for CX that demonstrates how this interaction works. This device is full of comments that explain how things work, as well as abstractions that you're welcome to use in your own devices.